It's been a minute. I have not streamed in a little bit because I have been feeling bad, but I'm on I'm on the up and up now. I figured I'd play my favorite Christmas song for the start because uh it snowed yesterday. Today was our first snow. I don't know why I was trying to load an empty slot and going insane. Um, but yeah. We're gonna have a good time. We're doing the investigation now, so. Let's do it. And she's just passed out because she saw blood. Toko! Don't tell me. Toko too? Relax. She just passed out when she saw the blood. Blood? Oh, that's right. When Toko is, um, Toko, she has a fear of blood, right? We've tried everything to get her to wake up, but no luck. Just leave her be for now. It's like he said. I should just leave her alone for now. Damn it! How did this happen? Another hammer. Now it's just as hammer four. And it's even bigger than before. Is that suspicious individual responsible for killing Taka too? However. But why is it just as hammer four? Yeah, <laughs> it's just as hammer five. Just hits you and a little, uh, a little food comes out, but nine! Nine's the one you gotta worry about. This is the big electric swing and just blasts you right off the stage. <laughs> oh yeah, I decided... Hello there, I decided to, uh, Make, uh, Sakura's voice crack. Because... That's what I'm going with. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I, she she kind of sounds like Frieza, but I was I was I was not satisfied with that. Celeste was uh, attacked with Justice Hammer One, then Hifumi was hit with Justice Hammer Two, but this time it was Justice Hammer Four. What happened to Number Three? Well, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure there are. I mean. Uh, you have the monster forms, and then you have regular Frieza. Your planet will be destroyed in five minutes, I think. What are what are your minutes? I I'm not going to worry about it. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. I have no idea. I didn't watch fucking Dragon Ball. <laughs> what? What's the matter? Well, when you mentioned Justice Hammer 3, you just reminded what? me. Out with it. Do you know something? Actually, Taka's not the only one that's been killed. Hifumi's dead too. What? What? Hey. Hifumi's been killed! Yeah. I see. Which is why you came to get us. Then we'd better go check it out. Of course! Come on! Oh, I don't know. It's... It means nothing to me. <laughs> Sakura, Byakuya, and I rushed out of the physics lab. Oh. My ear still hurts. I need to take some more antibiotics, because my... Ear infection is still hurting me. Remind me to do that before I end the stream, or one when I end the stream, so I can go do that afterwards. I'll just have one headphone in. It's fine. Oh. Ah. Celeste, aren't you supposed to be waiting in the nurse's office? Okay. S something has come up. Hmm. Yeah, I heard. Ifumi is dead, right? Indeed. Well, that is not all. It is gone. Huh? What's gone? It has disappeared. Disappeared? Ifumi's body has disappeared! What? what? What did you say? What are you talking about? It's disappeared, 
Don't be ridiculous. Come on. Are you serious? What, what the heck is happening here? Hey. Uh, if I if I go to break, yeah, I'll probably do it. But since since I'm gonna be doing the investigation and the trial, I'm probably just gonna be going going straight through it. It's not bad. It's only bad when I when I lay down like to sleep. It's the worst when I lay, lay down to sleep. It's like all the blood rushes to my head and like pulsing pain. But I have a heating pad and a hot towel and stuff and that makes me feel better. And it's slowly, it's slowly getting better. I'm fine enough to stream now, so we're doing all right. I practically leapt down the stairs, nearly losing my balance. I reached the nurse's office completely out of breath. I couldn't believe my eyes. Mifumi's body was there just a few minutes earlier. It just disappeared? M me and Celeste went to the bathroom, but we were only gone for like a minute. And then when we got back... This must be the work of the culprit. They must have come and carried the body away. They must really be enjoying this. Enjoying the sight of us standing around, frightened and confused. Okay. We're all going to die here. We're all going to die just like those guys died. What, what did you say? I don't believe this. I don't believe a body would just disappear. Why? First, there were two murders, and now one of the bodies has been taken. This is unnatural. Huh? Uh, hold on. Do you mean two murders? Ina. Tuck has been killed. We found him in the equipment room. No way! It, it can't be. Taka too? It can't be. It, it can't be. No! No! Hina. Hina, go down. We're all gonna die. All of us. They're gonna kill all of us. <laughs> then who might the next target be? Toko. Huh? What? I completely forgot. She's still unconscious in the equipment room. Well, you left her at the scene of the crime? We didn't have a choice. She passed out and she refused to wake up. Huh? So she is still unconscious. Damn. Wait, so you knew she was still up there. It said nothing. Why? <laughs> that annoying little insect that clings to me wherever I go. We'd be better off without her. Bastard! You bastard! <laughs> Calm down. You forgot about her, didn't you? You have no right to blame me. A everyone stop fighting. Right now, we need to hurry back. Huh? I can't take this anymore. I don't want anyone else to die. Byakuya, yeah. if something's happened to Toko, I'll never forgive you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, I guess we're fucking booking it. We're just running all over. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. I see, I have a problem where I think everything I do is hilarious. I think I'm very funny. I'm the first person to laugh at all my jokes, and so if no one else is having fun, I'll just keep doing it. Cause I'm cause I'm A stubborn and B easily amused by myself. And when we got there, well, fuck! You guys are so stupid. Just leave the body. You don't. Never turn your back on the body. I I know. I know. It's a rule we should all know by now. Tiara doesn't know this. If if Isaac was in the chat, he would know this also. But you never turn your back on the body. Thank God you're okay, but right away I noticed there was something very different here. Ah, it was gone. Taka's body, which should have been right there, had disappeared. This is... <laughs> it does change slightly. This can't be happening. Are we all... Hallucinating this or something. 
No, it's it's not a hallucination. I know I saw it before, and what I'm seeing now isn't what I saw before. Huh? What? Are are you saying Taka disappeared too? Stop talking. Stop saying disappeared. It didn't just vanish into thin air. Obviously, whoever did this has hidden the body. But why would they do that? <laughs> I couldn't possibly begin to imagine. Anyway, our costume suspect is clearly continuing his crime spree. We gotta hurry and catch him before he kills all of us. Not possible. Oh, I don't think you have to worry about that. Huh? Think about it. Who could possibly be responsible for killing and hiding these dead bodies? Um, also I think only two people? Oh no, that's about... Never mind. I think that's... Hmm. There's some rule about how many people you can kill at a time, right? I think you can only kill two. I think Monokuma said that before. Although I might be I might be misremembering. They'll probably explain it again. Which is good because normally I'm upset about them fucking explaining everything after two minutes. But after being gone from this game for like a week, <laughs> I'm okay with it. Oh, um. Okay, two kills max per person. Right, so I'm not crazy. So I really like, obviously, Sakura, Hina. Um, I really liked Mondo. Mondo's cool. That's right, boys. Mondo cool. Um, Taka's awesome. I liked his Super Saiyan transformation. Those are, those are the big ones for me. I also like, uh... I'm forgetting her name because it's been a while, but I like the detective gal, whose skill is clearly being the super high school level detective, but they keep putting question marks like we're not supposed to know that. But I'm sure we'll, f we'll figure more about out about her eventually. It is so. Oh fuck, I didn't read what he said. Stupid. That's what I get for turning away. <laughs> After that, we split up into two groups. Hmm. And now this time, you all came here as a group from the nurse's office. Celeste. Oh, Chihiro. Oh, I can go. Oh, fuck. Fuck, it probably told me that like at the beginning of the game. Everyone was on it together on the third floor. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, this is fine. In other words, the only one... <laughs> <laughs> the only other the only ones who could have done this are Hiro and Kyoko, who are still missing. Hold on a second. Kyoko has an alibi for when Celeste and Hifumi were attacked. There's no question that she was in the dining hall with us. Hmm. hmm. You seem very adamant about defending her. Perhaps you are in love. That that's not it at all. That's fine. Well, anyway, yes, I do accept Kyoko's alibi. Let's see. Which means the suspicious individual we, we're looking for can be none other than Hiro. Hmm. Which further means there will be no more murders. The regulations are very clear about that. Oh, that's right. There's a rule that says you can only kill a maximum of two people. That's right. As long as that rule is in place, there will not be a third murder. If they were to break that rule... Yeah, Monokuma would just fucking mince ya. I'm mince ya! Mince ya without a second thought! Mince ya, grind ya, turn ya into paste! By the way, did you know that fish paste can also refer to shellfish? Like shrimp or crabs? Indeed. Let's see. So, since two people have been killed, there is no possibility of any more. Perhaps. You knew that from the beginning. Didn't you, Byakuya? Which means that you knew Toko was never in danger. I still meant it when I said we'd be better off without her, though. In other words... Anyway, with that in mind, we can now relax and search for the two missing bodies. The two missing bodies? Two people have been killed and their bodies have been hidden. The only one without an alibi, the only one who could have done it, is Hiro. Is he really the killer? And what about Kyoko? 
if she's not involved in this case, where did she go? What? Hey, Makoto. What's the matter? Hunt? Oh. No, it's, it's nothing. <laughs> Whatever. We need to find those bodies, or our little narrative here can't move forward. So then. Very well. Then let us split up and begin searching. But... The, but... <laughs> there is no need to be afraid. No more murders will take place during this case. Because, I mean... Uh, I know that. I mean, uh, I think I do, but... You know. If you're still nervous, I'll come with you. Huh? Uh, okay. Thank you. No need to thank me. <laughs> then let's get moving. Yell out if you find anything. Okay, bye, Tiara. See you in a bit. Yakia left the equipment room, followed by the others. I have to try and find the two missing bodies. Let's just check around. I don't know if investigation necessarily has started. I don't know if it wants us to take a look at like the blood stains and stuff. I guess it didn't start adding things to my portfolio, so probably not. Taka's still laying there. All right, well, let's just go look. <laughs> yeah, I bet they have tons of fuck protein. P protein in it. Put protein coffee in my protein coffee. Mmm. It's the only way to get swole. Are they in the art room? Probably not. You guys found anything? We need to search for the bodies that have disappeared. What happens after that? Huh? It's just Kronk's spinach puffs, but with fucking protein powder poured all, poured all over them. Where could the... Where could two dead bodies have disappeared to? Huh? The door must be locked. Bring it on. Now this is fun. So Patrick Warburton's voice, obviously very iconic, but I didn't see Emperor's New Groove as a kid. So that's not where I know the voice from. But I did own Hoodwinked on DVD. Hoodwinked is raw. It looks terrible now because it's fucking early CGI movie. Okay, nothing in here. There's just the hammer. But I know him most, like, when I think of that voice, I think of, um, Kronk, not Kronk, but the wolf from Hoodwinked. Where is, uh, he's a reporter or something. It's a fun movie. I should rewatch Hoodwinked just to look at the bad animation. Come on. Why are you just standing there? We need to get to the repository. Huh? You mean... Indeed. I found them. Ifumi and Taka's bodies have both been hidden in the repository. I've already told Hina and Sakura. We'll go on ahead. Their bodies were in the repository? What? Wait, what's the repository? Guess, is that downstairs? Oh, no, I guess not. I'm just look at all the rooms then. I'm not really sure what repository is supposed to mean. I never went to public school, so I don't know if that's supposed to be like a name for something I'm supposed to recognize. Then I have no clue. It's the room. Yeah, well, it was locked. I couldn't get in there. What a bunch of bullshit. Are the bodies here somewhere? Hmm. 
I have to wonder where they could have been hidden. What? Where is the repository? The doorknob turned. I guess it's unlocked. Thank you, plot. Thank you, plot, for letting me not find the bodies until I was allowed to find the bodies. There they are. They're just... I mean, they're still dead. This is fucking weird. Oh, look, hammers. Smell of blood made me gag. What I saw before my eyes was unquestionable, unavoidable, unwavering reality. Ooh, I will figure it out. I'm excited. I, I say that. I'm... This game has not yet done that to me where it's like oh were they was it possible that they weren't dead before they had to get re-killed or something i don't know anyway point is this game has very rarely i can't in fact i despite being sort of goofy um with the writing it hasn't just pulled the rug out from under me at any point we're just like fuck you you don't know this because it's a plot fuck off <laughs> it doesn't do that to me which is very nice and then i heard the announcement for a second time yeah so they one of them wasn't dead yet a body or, has been discovered or maybe after a certain amount of time which you may use however you like the class trial will begin. That yeah, that didn't play before when we saw Taka, so he must not have been dead yet. It definitely played for for Roly Poly though. I think I remember that. Or did it? Cuz I had to go and tell them or did we have to, I don't know. I will figure it out. It's Ooh, that's ex that's good. I I don't mind being strung along if there's a good payoff, because you know I don't want to be I don't want everything to be spelled out for me right at the beginning. But so often, especially in killing game style, like anime things or visual novels or whatever, they just string you along as like, oh, the explanation is bullshit. It's just garbage. There's maybe there's a cursory explanation for it, but it's really not very satisfying. So I'm all down for mystery. I'm all down for who done it as long as it's leading somewhere. And if I know that it's leading somewhere, that's very exciting for me because I love a good payoff for that. Anyway, here's the next Monokuma file. First time, but I thought something might happen was really hard to resist, but turns out I was right. Stop talking. Just hand it over already. Punishment is waiting for you. Now, make sure to investigate with all your mental might and prepare for the cleanse trial. See ya later. Hmm. Woohoo. Well then, now that we've found the bodies, all that's left is to uncover the culprit. Uh, hold on. How can you be so so calm? I mean, they're dead, you know. Terrible. Dead, gone forever. They're never coming back. Awful. This is all just too awful. Hina suddenly burst into tears. She clutched at Hifumi's lifeless body. Who, who would do this? I don't know. Me. I might have done that. Why? <laughs> Why? I could think of many reasons for this guy in particular. Not Taka though. Taka's a Taka's a nice guy. I thought that they were gonna keep this motherfucker alive the whole goddamn game. And just keep throwing like haha, -ha, he's still here, motherfucker. Oh, she hates it. It's not a movie. Just shows she's clearly a better person than the rest of us. Oh, fuck off. God damn it. 
He's alive again? Where? Fuck. Cold. So cold. Is winter coming? Oh, I was right. God damn it. Hifumi, wake up! Huh? Uh, that's right. I remember now. Hope's peak. Come on, you gotta wake up! I remember everything before I met you all. I met you all. <laughs> His memories are all blending together. He has nothing useful to offer to us. Oh, the light. Wait. What the fuck? It's, what is he talking about? But Byakia, I don't think that's true. I think there's some like bullshit going on. The tale of a comet. Like Haley's comet. Hey, Fumi. Who was it? Who attacked you? Who tried to kill you? Who killed me? It was the robot. Right. I remember their name. What? Y Yasu. Oh, well, he's, he's fucking dead. That's... That's crazy. Wait, how would he know? It was the... Yeah. Yeah, we're... I'm, we're all very suspicious about, uh... About knowing each other beforehand. There seems to have been a... A real hopes peak where we all went to before he, he, we something and we don't remember. I don't know. I don't obviously I don't know the details. At least he's fucking dead. Finally, absolute undeniable death for this son of a bitch. Way to go identifying your killer at the end though, saving it for the rest of us. At least you at least he pulled it out at the end. Good for him. I can respect that. It's not like a Sayaka fucking uh I, I I'm still convinced that Sayaka Is that her name? Sayaka? Anyway, I'm still convinced she was doing it because she was like, no, motherfucker, you're not getting out of here. <laughs> She's like, Leon, you son of a bitch. I'm getting you dead. Yeah, Sayaka. Yes, I'm convinced. They're all like, mm, she in her final moments, she really did like you, Makoto. No, motherfucker, she was cold-blooded. Like... Like, why would- it, she clearly wanted revenge on Leon. Anyway. No matter how many more of Hina's tears splashed his face, there was no second miracle. Reality set in again. Hmm. This isn't some stereotypical typical fantasy world. Tears can't restore a person's vitality. Oh. You have no tears, do you? No blood in your veins? No calcium in your bones? At least you have your meat. Stop talking. You're just angry. Going out of his way to return, just to leave us with those unnecessary dying words. Now this game has become exceedingly boring. Huh. It's sad, uh, Yasuhiro, right? Then perhaps... Sahiro Hagakure. That is the only person he could have been referring to. So in other words... And with that, the case is solved. Well, I don't know how he couldn't have seen him, though. Because he was in the... The costume. So that's bullshit. The fucking robot was running around in his Gundam Megazord costume. The criminal that hides his face behind a mask and uses a bunch of giant wooden hammers. Is that what Hero is? No, he's a schmuck. What is this? Here's a, here's a, a, a fucking washout. 
It's never that easy. Like, bes even besides it never being that easy, there are very obvious reasons why that's bullshit. And it still may be him, but it's not because it was his last words. No way I can ever forgive him to, to kill two of our friends. That's fine. Anyway, it's about time we track down the culprit in our little life or death game here. Although, this time it's not all that life or death. The trial will conclude without much trouble. Indeed. Yes, it does look that way. It's going to begin again. We have to go through this. One more time. Just one more time. Only once more. I have to accept it. I have no choice but to go through with this to make sure everyone survives. I, I just have to do it. First, I'd better check the Monokuma file. The victims were Hifumi Yamada and Kiyotaka Ishimaru. The cause of death for each was a blow to the head. It is thought that they were both killed with a similar weapon. That's it? Very strange. Yeah, it's pretty strange. We got way less information this time than before. <sighs> that is no problem. After all, the events of the case unfolded before our very eyes. We should know more about what happened than the Monokuma Uma file could anyway. Hmm. Maybe. Well. There is something else that's bothering me. Someone else has been missing for quite a while. Are you talking about Kyoko? Yes. Without a doubt, she has an alibi for when Celeste and Hifumi were attacked. But what if the killer wasn't acting alone? What if they had an accomplice? A an accomplice? <sighs> an accomplice? What are you doing here? Monokuma, Don't be rude. I'm here to answer your question. What question? Yep. You're talking about accomplices, right? I'm pretty sure I explained it before, didn't I? During the class trial. Speaking of which, I'd like to ask the bear. If there is an accomplice, do they also become blackened? So you ask, and so I shall answer. Each murder is allowed to have an accomplice, but only the one who does the killing will get to graduate. So in other words, two people can work together, but one of them has no chance of profiting from it. Then there's no way anyone would work together, right? Yeah, I think we talked about in this. But if there are two murders... So basically, you can be an accomplice if you want, but there's no gratification in it. So, then. so are you saying that nobody worked together this time either? Sorry, can't answer that. It would obstruct the free exchange of information between you guys. I just want to make sure you don't forget. No matter how much you might assist in a murder, only one black end can graduate. An accomplice gets nothing! So in other words... Then we only need to figure out who that one black end is that did the killing, right? Just like normal. Okay, okay, let me take this opportunity to clarify the whole shebang. In the class trial, what you need to determine is Extreme. the one true blackened who devised the murder plot and put it into action. True blackened? So just one person? Well now, that's enough for explainifying! Now it's down to the final battle between all of you and the blackened. Good luck to all the contestants! Okay, so that's that's very clear. There can only be one blackened, and an accomplice wouldn't benefit. Unl Which means that even if a comp... Well, there are two murders, right? So if an accomplice killed... But then I guess it would be the guy who plotted it then. It ha would have to be the person who plotted it and put it into action. who was the black in. So there is just one. Okay. Well, that makes sense. Then I can't see any way can Kyoko would be connected to this case after all. Hmm. You may be right. Um, if that's true, then Kyoko, where are you? However, as long as she's not connected to the case, it doesn't matter. 
Let's get back to the investigation. Indeed. I have absolutely no doubt that Hero is responsible. But for the time being, I suppose it can't hurt to pursue further information. So, um... You know, don't you think we should consider a certain someone a suspect, just in case? I'm talking about the murderous fiend, Genocide Jack! What? <laughs> what? I'm offended. Oh. <laughs> you. When did you... <laughs> I've been looking all over for you, Master. When I woke up, you were nowhere to be found. Anyway, you there, Milksack Swimmer Girl. Huh? Milksack? You've gotta be kidding. Why do I gotta be a suspect? What the heck? Well, I mean, you are a serial killer. What? <laughs> so what? I'm like a special guest suspect every time? I have an alibi, you know. Hmm. She's right about that. When we heard Hifumi scream, she was with me. And when the body disappeared, she was still lying unconscious in the equipment room. Plus, Taka's body aside, I can't imagine any way she would have been able to move Ifumi's body. Besides, I calculate every move I make. I'm not gonna kill someone when everyone knows what I look like. <laughs> hey, don't call me the murderous fiend for nothing. What are you saying? That's not the kind of thing you should be bragging about. Let's see. On another topic, should we post a guard by the bodies like before? We can't have them disappearing again. So then... Hina, I can handle that. You don't mind, do you, Hina? Hmm. Sure, I'd be totally useless on the investigation anyway. It's all clear now. Then that's that. Let's begin. Ugh, I should have eaten lunch. This whole thing is so strange. All but one of us has an alibi, so... Figuring out who did it should be obvious, right? But... Maybe it's just me, but I don't think it's going to be as straightforward as it seems. Ah, thank you for the follow. Thank you for the follow. I always appreciate it. Monokuma File 3 has been added to the Truth Bullet section of your handbook. Well, let's look at these fucking hammers. These hammers that were obviously made into... They're missing and everything. There are hammers of all different sizes hanging on the wall, although some look more like mallets. Mallets? Could the justice hammers have been designed using these as a model? Either way, all the hammers here have obviously seen a lot of use. They're all covered in debris and chalky stone powder. Wait, for some reason, this one hammer isn't dirty at all, and it's wet. Did someone wash it recently? Spotless Hammer has been added to the Truth Bullet section of your handbook. Taka, he'll never move again. According to the Monokuma file, Taka died from a blow to the head. We found Justice Hammer 4 near his body in the equipment room. Is that what was used to kill him? And there's a tarp laid out under his body. Did the killer use this to move Taka's body? That way, there wouldn't be any blood left behind while the body was moved. Blue tarp. Ifumi's big, cold body is laying on the floor. His really big body. I mean, how on earth was the killer able to move someone so big? From the nurse's office where he was discovered to here, the repository. All the way from the first floor to the third, and all without anyone noticing it. How the hell? It's no good. I just don't get it. I can think about it later. For now, I have to finish investigating Hifumi himself. If I remember correctly, Hifumi's fatal injury was also a blow to the head. Probably from Justice Hammer 3, which was lying on the floor in the nurse's office. Huh? Wait. Something's off about his body. Why am I getting this feeling? Something's... different. Something about Hifumi's body in the nurse's office versus his body right now. That's it. His glasses! 
When his body was in the nurse's office, his glasses were covered with blood. Now, they're completely clean? Does that mean someone wiped his glasses off? But who would do that? And why? I guess they could have forced him to carry the body. That doesn't ma really make any sense either. I'm still not. It's not quite coming together. This is the first one where it's like, oh, I really actually have to. Ugh, excuse me while I yawn through my whole sentence. Yeah, we're, we're looking for someone who vents. Uh, when the imposter is sus. Germa face. <laughs> I don't see any way from, to lock it from in the art room. Okay. Oh, there's still more in here. Uh, I'm trying to leave, but they're not letting me. So, um... Hey, um, Makoto? I've been thinking about something. It's about the repository. Huh? What is it? Hmm. After Hifumi and Taka's bodies disappeared, we split up to look around, right? I was really scared, so me and Sakura stuck together. But... And we came right to the repository to, you know, look around. But when we, when we got here, the repository was locked. We couldn't get inside. It was locked? Hmm. That I, I would know that. I checked it. And we came here as soon as the search started, so there's no way someone could have beat us here. So if that's true, who locked it? And why is it unlocked now? I wonder the same thing. The door was locked when the search for the bodies began, but now it's wide open. There might be some secret lurking in there, but I'll probably have to leave this area to figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. The door can only be locked from the inside from inside the repository, which makes me wonder. Hina and Sakura both confirmed that the door was locked after the search for the bodies began. And the door is designed so that it can only be locked from inside the repository. In other words, when Hina checked it, someone had already gone in the repository and locked the door. When they were done, they unlocked it and left, which is why it's unlocked now. So that certain someone... Hina claims there's no way someone could have beaten them to the repository. Was it the killer still who's still roaming free? Or was it one of the victims? Hmm. Yeah, I was saying, maybe he unlocked it after the the killer found some way out. I don't see any hilariously obvious vents or something like that. What do you think, Byakuya? Byakuya, do you think Hiro really did it? I don't see how anyone could think otherwise. When the attacks and murders and disappearances all happened, every one of us had an alibi. And the last thing that Hifumi said when he died... Yeah, he said Hiro's so name. In other words... Then there is no room to suspect anyone else. Okay, but if he did do it... Why would he hide his identity with that weird costume? Hmm. Maybe he thought that no matter what happened, he'd be safe, as long as his face was covered. Because he's the fool of the century, you see. I mean, he is kind of dumb, but do you really think that's enough to explain it? I feel like there's a clue hiding in there somewhere. What? And is that it? That's all that bothers you about the case? Well, no, there are a few other things. Like, why did the killer try to hide the bodies? They probably figured that if we couldn't find the bodies, we couldn't complete our investigation. But if that's the case, we found the bodies pretty easily, didn't we? Again, it comes back to the fact that the culprit was a moron. Is that really all there is to it? The other thing that bothers me is, why'd they bother killing two people? What? What? Because all the rule says is that if you can kill someone get and get away with it, you graduate, right? So if you're the killer, your number one priority is not getting caught. But killing two people means more clues, more chances you'll get found out. See. Hold on. Perhaps 
I see. So that's what that means. I is everything okay? That's enough. Don't talk to me as if we're friends. <laughs> what is with that attitude? <laughs> but you have my appreciation. Goodbye. Thanks to you, I might have some fun with this after all. His mysterious words hung in the air as he left the repository. He talked as if he'd figured something out. But if he did, would it have killed him to tell me what it was? So someone executed a plan and then told what's his face to carry it out and he said hey if i kill one and you kill one then hey maybe we can both get out of here completely lying to him and fooling him into thinking that that was a possibility that's what i'm that's where that's what i'm working with at this point there are many aspects to the incident this time too many to be honest Considering that it may be good to look back on everything that's happened. So then. Would you like my help? Um, I guess this is just gonna be a recap, but might as well have it. Yeah, let's look back on things. This morning, only four of us met up at the dining hall. Hina, Kyoko, you, and myself. We waited for the others, but nobody showed up. So we decided to go look for them. That was around... 8 o'clock when we began our search. And soon after we split up, Kyoko disappeared. After that, Hina found Celeste in the rec room, on the third floor. Then quickly came and got you and me. According to Celeste, she was attacked by a suspicious individual and lay unconscious for about an hour. In other words, she was attacked an hour before we found her. Meaning, just after 7 o'clock. Based on the picture Celeste took, we discovered her attacker was dressed in a strange costume. It was Robo Justice. It also became clear that this Robo Justice had dragged Afumi away. Huh. After meeting up with uh, Toko and Biakia, we began searching for the costume to Salen. I have to like kind of smile to do this voice. There's no other way. I have to kind of like get my cheeks way up there. We found an injured Ifumi in the library, on the second floor. We took him down to the nurse's office, on the first floor, and then resumed our search. But not long after leaving the nurse's office. Anyway, I'm just going to talk for the rest of this, because we've kind of already seen it. Something moved around at the top of the stairs. Based on Celeste's claims, we went up to the second floor. Then right after that, Celeste screamed. This time, she had apparently seen the suspect on the third floor. Hearing her screams, we all quickly made our way to this third floor. Celeste, what's wrong? It was an intense scream. I saw him, the strange costumed man. He ran off as soon as I screamed. I was blocking the stairs, so we headed further down into the hallway and disappeared. And then... Rah. What was that? Came from downstairs. It must have been Hifumi. He's in the nurse's office. It's bad. We have to go back. It seems to be... Yeah, this totally seems like Celeste did it. Now that the way that they're talking about it. Because upon reflection, Celeste is like, Hey, the guy went this way. 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 Pop possibly to try and cover up for where he actually was going so she leads them around hero goes and kills these people like a dumbass when she's the real mastermind but i'm not sure whether that makes her the killer or him the killer this is fucking complicated. This was, this went from like zero to a, well, I don't know, maybe 15 to a hundred. Not necessarily zero to a hundred, but I had to fire a couple of neurons in the case previous with Mondo and Chihiro. So that was a body discovery. 
Uh, very far. And then we discovered Taka's body. We were discovered around the same time. I remember hearing the body discovering announcement play right after finding Taka. Okay, so we had body announcements for both of them, and then, or each of them rather, and then bought a body announcement for both of them. Interesting. Yumi and Byakuya headed to the nurse's office, leaving behind Toko, who was fainted. But as soon as we left the physics lab, Celeste was there, and she was, she told us, once again, directing our attention to somewhere. I mean, Gambler, it's like three card Monty, right? Find the queen. When in reality, you're moving the queen, flicking it down to a different spot than you think. There we began our search for both of the missing bodies. After mm. some time, Celeste told us she'd found them. Oh, Celeste told us. Okay, Celeste is the one that had found them. I thought that she and Byakuya were together and they found them together. But if she's to once again, leading us in a particular direction. However, Looking back, things have certainly been very active. You want to look back at the case again? Just let me know. Okay, so she's got it all. Okay, look around a little more. Justice hammers. This one's clean. Can I look at the tarp? What else is there to look at? It's just a camera. It's just a monitor. Oh, what I got a coin for it. Hell yeah. Um, these paintings fucking suck. They're like what I would do. Ah, here it is. It's a dolly with no handle. I saw this in the art room before. I guess it's used to move statues around. It's kind of awkward, but if you bend down, it's not too hard to use. Huh, but wait. Wasn't this in the equipment room when we found Taka's body? And look at the wheel. There's a blood stain on it. So there's blood on the wheel of the dolly that was moved from the equipment room to the repository. What's the explanation for that? Well, probably that they used it to move uh, what's-his-face's body. Because, I mean, we saw the wheel marks. Hmm, there's got to be a clue around here somewhere. Maybe I should check somewhere else. There are some places I already know about. First, the nurse's office where Hifumi was found. Then the equipment room where Taka was found. All right, we can move along. I love the fucking music in this game. It's so good. That's one of the things you hear about Danganronpa, or at least that I heard about it a lot, was the music fucking rocks. And the people who said so were not wrong. I guess the three car. Yeah, I'm. I'm saying I'm definitely leaning towards Celeste being the killer now, or the mastermind, at the very least. The weapon that was used to kill Taka. The body was moved, but the murder weapon was just left here. Yeah, that's fucking weird. There's some kind of tire mark going through the pool of blood in the middle of the room. That reminds me about the dolly in the repository. There was blood on its tire. That blood could have come from here? Which would mean that Taka's body was moved from the equipment room to the repository using the dolly. Both rooms are on the third floor, so that should definitely have been possible. Cool, cool. But even if the dolly was used to move Taka's body, what about Hifumi? Hmm. Mm, when the imposter is sus, scratches chin. Mm, what? Mm. 
Hey, man. <laughs> thanks, thanks for dropping in to this stupid bullshit. Uh, what about Hifumi? Hifumi's body was in the nurse's office on the first floor. Even with Dolly, there's no way to get it up to the third floor. That's still a total mystery. Yeah, it's fucking weird. What is this? Oh, this is a tarp. Yeah, it's the tarp from the... Oh, well, I guess that's a clue or not. I guess it's not a clue, but I got a point for it. I was sleeping right here when the killer carried the body away. I'm super pissed I missed such an ultimately rare event. Whatever. <laughs> Sus the imposter is. My cock with a rock you must crush. Hmm? Um, my favorite character... It's hard to say. I like... I like pretty much every character for one reason or another. There's no character where I was... Where I'm like, bah! Except for Leon, who was, like, kind of boring. But he died. <laughs> so you don't have to worry about that. Um, I really liked Chihiro. Chihiro was cool. And what a nice boy. Um, I like, let's say I just went over this. I had Chihiro, Hina, Sakura, um, Kyoko, and I really liked Mondo. Mondo was cool. That's right, boy. I made this joke already. I made the Mondo cool joke already with the Vegeta voice and everything. Because I'm fucking stupid. Put this in the... Was she really attacked with this? I don't know. I'm very suspicious of Celeste with her sort of three-card Monty... Uh... Shifting of a tent. I just went in this fucking room. I'm, I have brain damage. I'm very suspicious of her at this point since we've been informed that the mastermind is the one who gets to graduate. Yeah, she's got the, she's doing the three, she's doing the find the queen thing. Every time we went somewhere, because I just, I just went over the story with Sakura, and every time we went somewhere, it was because Celeste told us to. She said, oh my god, here's this, oh my god, here's this. Except for the one time where, um, where Hifumi died. When Hifumi died, he screamed, but she told us where he was. Where am I going? Um, the nurse's office? Is it? Yeah, here it is. So, eh? She seemed very uncharacteristically concerned about all of this. When she's the risk taker, like, this is fun kind of thing. If she had continued being like, oh, this is cool. Oh, it's life or death. The, the world, the most dangerous game kind of thing. Someone moved the body, but left the weapon behind. So I'm thinking she manipulated, uh... Hero into doing this. But yeah, those- those four character- those five characters that I mentioned were my- were my favorites. But all of the characters are pretty cool, and I like them well enough. No- no- no slackers in the cast. I am not investigating anything. Precisely speaking, I am simply going around seeing if Hiro might be hiding somewhere. Mm. What about you? Oh, you know, I'm just checking this and that. The main thing on my mind is how someone could have moved Hifumi's body. How Hifumi was moved, eh? When it disappeared, you were supposed to be in the nurse's office, right? Yes, indeed. Correct. Hina was not feeling well, so I stayed behind to look after her. But she seemed to be getting worse, so I took her to the bathroom. Once again, directing people into places. Eh, I don't buy it, lady. And when you got back, the body was gone, huh? Hmm. Hina is pure. Hina would never do this to us. Oh, I also know... Uh, I, there were a couple of spoilery things that I knew before going in. I do know for a fact that Byakuya is fat in, in the next game. <laughs> so. So. I know that, uh. 
I know that he is gonna be fine one way or the other. But that's the last spo- I do- I- I don't know any other spoilers. The last spoiler we encountered that I knew was that Taka died, and that's because I knew someone on Tumblr, you know, back in- back in the early days, who would not stop posting about him and how he deserved better. And you know what? She was right. Taka did deserve better. And in fact, he is on- he add him to the list. He is- makes the sixth character's character- that I really enjoy in this in this game. We could not have been gone for more than a minute or two though. Yeah, Hina said the same thing. So then the killer was able to get in and move Hifumi's body in that short amount of time? Indeed. It would seem so. To carry off someone as big as Hifumi in only a couple of minutes is I can't think of it as anything less than impossible. Back in the before time. Yeah, exactly. Before the world was new, when the spirit of God hovered over the waters, before he separated the waters of of the sea from the waters of the sky and created the firmament. <laughs> and on day one, there was evening and there was morning and Tumblr was made. <laughs> so fucking stupid. I can't believe I said that out loud. Um, it doesn't look like there's anything else in here. I can't look at the hammers any better than I've already looked at them. I feel like there's more to look at here. Okay, I forgot. Tab. Ooh, there's a, a mini fridge. I wonder if there's a drink. I'm real thirsty. There's blood! Oh my god, Hifumi was an accomplice was the accomplice. Mmm, delicious blood soda. Doesn't help me though, I'm not a vampire. So wait, so that means Hifumi. Hifumi Hifumi is the is the guy. And he's trying to get Celeste out because he's her little pay piggy. Oh, I figured it out. Secret blood packets. That's why he wiped off his glasses. He gave him a secret message to let him know to run away. And even in death, even in death, he was ready to, I mean, that's, she has that energy, right? Of like, ooh, you're my little pay piggy. Ooh, pay me fucking cuck, you son of a bitch. Like one of those weirdos who makes videos on YouTube. It's just a normal trash can. Huh? Wait, there's something inside. It's too small to be a handkerchief. It's a glasses cleaning. Yeah, fucking Hifumi, you son of a bitch. Even in death, you are a, a, a total bastard. Oh, I'm so glad that you're dead? If he is really even dead. Huh? A cleaning cloth. And it's all bloody. Whoever this belonged to must have used it to wipe up some blood. Oh, fuck, but there's still the... There's still the robot. And she threw him in his face. Oh, she's an asshole. She's a great character, but she's an asshole. But yeah, I... So we have Hifumi clearly helping her. Hiro also helping her running around in the robot suit? Or something? And then... She turns on him and he's like, oh god, I gotta hide because it's because he's fucking stupid and he doesn't come out and tell people what's happening because he's scared because he's afraid they're just going to think he did it because obviously we would. I have I am. I am way more on track with Celeste being at the very least involved somehow that she is the mastermind. Because 
I I made the three card Monty. Ah, oh, nice tiara. Got some some yum yums. But yeah, with the three card Monty thing of like, where's the queen? And she's directing us everywhere. She's like, hey, go up to the third floor. I saw some. Oh shit. Oh no, did it? Oh no. Did I go? I my my internet blinked for a second. Are you guys still there? Did you die? I'm still here. Oh no. Internet please. Oh, this is embarrassing. <laughs> 